Kathy, there's a lot of buyers out there expecting to go to these foreclosure auctions and get a steal of a deal. I mean, I have some people who say, oh yeah, I want to get a, a $300,000 house for, for 80 grand. Now, what's the reality of that? Can you, can you, <laughs> can you, can you shed some light on that? Sure. Um, there's there's deals everywhere, but you really, really have to be careful with an auction. Um, you don't get a home inspection. It depends. A lot of times they're obviously posted in the paper and you'll see them. You do, a lot of times you will have an option. They might have a couple days, like two to four on a Saturday or on a Sunday, and you have an opportunity to actually walk through the property. And that's about it. When you do... If you do buy the auction, you know, with the house through the auction, you also take on all the debt that is, you know, that belongs to that property. Uh -huh. And be very careful about squatters, too. There's some stories where somebody here in um, the Dorchester area bought uh, a three-family and had no idea that there were squatters on the third floor. It took over a year to get those folks out because you, you buy the property and what comes with the property and... He got so you bought it. some tenants. <laughs> he, somebody, somebody acquired a couple tenants that he was not aware of. Yes. So that's that's on the unusual side, but just again, it's a buyer beware. You really don't know that much about the property, and again, you you can't do a home inspection, and you're going to take on all the debt. If you're looking for a really good deal, it's better to start with a short sale. Okay, great. Thanks, Kathy. <laughs> you're welcome.